Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. We're here at Rivers Elementary School to celebrate and talk about the fruits and vegetable program that we're starting uh, again this year. I'm here with Sabina Garrett. She's our child nutritionist for the district and does an amazing job. She spent lots of extra time and effort in writing a grant that uh, we were awarded recently. I'm very excited about it. Thank you, Sabina, for putting all the hard work in. Maybe tell us uh, a little bit about the qualifications for the grant who gets the grant, and I'm very excited about how much money it's bringing for us. Right. Well, this program is exceptional. It's a fresh fruit and vegetable program. It's a congressionally mandated program that was pushed out to the states in 2008, and so Oklahoma started on a permanent basis then. So what the, the districts across the state does is we have to submit applications for elementary level schools, and those applications are assessed and, and uh, determined um, who can uh, receive the, the grant distribution and once we are awarded that we are then able to send fruits and vegetables to the classroom and these are unique fruits and vegetables they're not your traditional that you see in a normal grocery store each day uh, so the uh, fresh fruits and vegetables provide an opportunity to give a really unique healthy uh, environment for creative snacks uh, could be mid-morning or mid-afternoon it's outside of the meal hour uh, and so it gives our children uh, a great opportunity to learn to love fruits and vegetables and to grow uh, and to get healthy both present and in the future because hopefully they'll continue eating those. Right. I also think uh, these are more expensive vegetables and uh, fruits that we normally don't necessarily get to buy so this enables us to buy the more expensive vegetables and fruits. They are. We have a vendor that comes in from Oklahoma City that brings us really unique items such as baby kiwi fruits, uh, maybe watermelon radishes, good fruits and vegetables to try that you don't normally see. Um, and we also are able to uh, uh, push these to the classroom so the teachers get a chance to give enrichment to the students, uh, telling them about the item, where it came from, the nutritious value of the item, and they're able to then take them home if they don't finish them in the classroom. Right. Four of our five elementary schools uh, qualify for it and get it. Uh, and this is kind of an example here at Rivers this afternoon. Uh, they will be passing these uh, fruits out. And this particular fruit is uh, pineapple. And with each set of fruits, it comes with the nutritional facts and just some fun things that the students can learn about each one of the fruits or vegetables that are given. And again, uh, this is given outside of the meal time. It's every day of the week that we're in school. At least three days a At week. At least three days a week. And what was the total award? We were awarded um, uh, $96,000. It's for a school, a fiscal year, 1 October through 30 September. And this will cover about 1,600 students. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, thank you for your hard work. It's a great opportunity for our kids to get to experience fresh fruits and vegetables and hopefully get started on a healthy lifestyle and also gives their teachers an opportunity to uh, mimic that and to uh, coach that for them. So again, thank you Sabina for all your hard work in making this work. Do you remember last week when we had some fruits and vegetables in class? Okay, raise your hand. Okay, who remembers what we had last week? What did we have last week? Mila? Did you just draw a blank? Okay, with, with, it was a fruit or vegetable? The fruit, and it starts with a mm, nectar. Yes, nectarines. Who likes the nectarines? Okay, cool. Okay, and then we had a vegetable, and that was a, what, Rachel? Zucchini. Who liked the zucchini? Yeah. You know what? Um, you can grow more pineapples by using the top of the pineapple. When you cut the top off, you can take that, and you can put it in the dirt, and then you can grow more pineapples. Okay. It was um, originally indigenous to a local or to an Indian group in South America. It spread from its native land by the local Indians up through the South and Central Americas to the West Indies. Later, it was brought to Spain when Columbus discovered America. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time here at Rivers as much as I did here in Miss Huckabee's class. This class really enjoyed uh, the fresh uh, fruits today. It was a great time. Uh, hope you all enjoy your long weekend, fall break. Well deserved. 
Uh, hopefully you're rested and rejuvenated. And as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.